agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker, for just about five years. It means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Qatari, leader of the resistance group Qataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
<laughs> yes. Hello everyone, Frank Tastic here, and welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. A game that a lot of you have really wanted me to play. Uh, also, excuse me, I'm trying to adjust my mic. I really don't want my mic audio to be crappy for this series, but hopefully it's not too crappy. Anyways. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have really wanted me to play this game. I don't know, don't know why. Uh, but here I am playing it right now. Pay people, put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Hooah. Rally on me. I can't Gosh, it's... <laughs> it's actually been a while since I've played this game. I haven't played this game... Eight months, maybe? Almost a year? I haven't played this game uh, since Breakpoint came out. Uh, so... There's a lot I'm gonna have to get used to. Uh, I'm assuming there's a lot of things that's Hang still on, similar, drive. that's still similar to, uh, breakpoints, uh, con control, button input, but I also know that this game is not breakpoint, not just from the controls being a little bit different, but also the game mechanics being different, so, uh, for these first couple of videos, for the first couple of missions, I may take it a bit easy, I may take it a bit slow. Uh, I may leave the HUD on and stuff like that. I don't I don't know if the HUD's fully on right now or not. I haven't messed with the settings or anything. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take me a minute. At least a couple of episodes, a couple of these missions to uh, get the feel of this game's game mechanics back. It's like I said, it's been it's been a while since I played this game. Almost a year. But, uh, I still remember a lot of stuff. I do know that this game's, uh, stealth mechanics is not as good as Ghost Recon Breakpoints. Uh, and I think for me, that is one of the many reasons why I personally prefer Ghost Recon Breakpoint over this game. It's not just because I think Ghost Recon Breakpoint's stealth mechanics is better, but also there's just a lot of different game mechanics from you know movement to the way you know certain things work that I just think Breakpoint did better than Wildlands. I think the only thing that for me personally that Wildlands did better than uh, Breakpoint presence. was uh, there's a lot of a lot of different customization options. Do I have two weapons? I don't remember having two weapons in this game. Uh, I think that was because I was playing ghost mode. I think you can only have one weapon in ghost mode. Huh. I wasn't going to do ghost mode. I'm not even playing on extreme. I'm playing on normal. Because I've already beat this game on ghost mode. I've already beat this game on extreme difficulty. Uh, both with my AI teammates and target. solo. Switch to suppressors. And all I'm trying to do right now... For this series to just play through the campaign, I'm not trying to do nothing extra like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I'm assuming it could be wrong, but I'm assuming some of the HUD is off. Maybe it's the same to the last time I played the game. I have no idea. Let me uh, look at that. HUD. Yeah, it's on custom. Uh, so I'm assuming... Should I turn crosshairs on? I think I'm going to turn crosshairs on for now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sync shot. Yeah, I'll leave that on for now. I, yeah. Hmm. I guess I should turn this. Yeah, I should turn this on for this game because this game isn't like Breakpoint. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on just so I can freaking see what uh 
gadget I have selected because this one doesn't have like the gadget wheel uh, team info eh, I don't really need that I don't think so nah notifications uh, maybe uh, la, 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 I don't know uh, sure I would probably do a bunch of different oh wow this this feels <laughs> just like that with crossers on and my ammo being on this game already feels different we've got enemy activity nearby but yeah you just press left on the d-pad and it switches through your gadgets there's not a uh, gadget wheel at least if there is I don't know how to get it to open like eyes I said, on the been... target let's move yeah eyes on the targets I don't even see the target anyways that guy's dead I think one of the things of this game that I think breakpoint did better is the character movement like you know, you watch you you know you watch my breakpoint videos. I I move and aim a lot because I just I just find it better. This game it does it differently. I don't know. It doesn't do it like uh, breakpoint does. Okay. Yeah, there's also no. Uh, when you're up against cover like this and you just press up on your left d-pad your character doesn't kinda like lean his head over a little bit so the camera zooms in a bit so there is that too yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a minute before I get the feeling of this game back I'm so used to breakpoint but uh I guess I'll just shoot this guy and then shoot that guy just spotted one with submachine guns Also remember that you don't have to get freaking headshots in this game to get a uh, one shot one kill. As long as you remain stealth, you shoot someone in the foot and they die. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can pay us back later. Hold up. We got hostile activity. Uh-huh. I forgot how the AI in this game worked. I don't think I have detection markers on. Detection clouds. Also, you can't pick up and move bodies in this game. You uh, just turn your camera to where you don't see the dead body for a few seconds, and the body eventually disappears. I think if you're close to the body, it won't do it as fast, but and that body will most definitely disappear, especially since I'm moving away from it and I'm not looking at it. I used to know every single little game mechanic in this game that... It was perfect. See, now the body disappeared. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Freaking crazy. I like having the uh, the option to pick up and move bodies instead of them just disappearing. I wish my teammates wouldn't freaking move there. Run everywhere. Copy. Hey, look at this guy. That's um. You're not Holt. You're not Weaver. My Midas. Is that Midas or... I don't think it's Mendez. I think it's Midas. I got one narco. Tell me where. In the watchtower. Yeah, I don't have AI marking on either. The lightning sound effect is the same as it is in Breakpoint. I can tell you that. They did not get a updated lightning sound audio. Got to scratch my nose here. Yeah, if the voice audio is crappy, I apologize. I my old mic took a crap on me. I got a new mic. It's supposed to be a better mic. I just haven't got the uh, settings perfected yet. I'm still messing with it. I know this guy's probably fixing to move. I do not want to start moving towards him and him just turn around on me. So I got to interrogate this guy, not kill him. Did he go in the bathroom? 
No, I think he's on the. Yeah, he's Yo, right there. Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun near so that how, sandbag emplacement. How would you sink shot? Is it the same? Yeah. Just point and press A. Gotcha. Jesus Christ. Is Emma loss on? No. I think that's only in ghost mode as well. I just sneak up behind this guy and hold X. Yeah. Go pere to the Sadra Pien. I didn't have to go for a headshot. I forgot about that. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? You serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can <clears> see <throat> what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. I don't see why I didn't just shoot him in the head. Maru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. The drone feels different too. Spotting another tango. Tango number three. There's one guy in there. There's someone in there. It's weird that the uh, drone's actually picking that up. How do Let's I zoom moving. in? Cartel isn't gonna wait around for us Oops. to track down and rescue Amaru. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how do you zoom in with the drone in this one. The drone is up. Or is there like something I have to? Oh no, oh uh, no, it's down on the D-pad. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It's left on the D-pad and it has two different, uh, three technically zooms. The default, a zoom, and then another zoom. Then goes back to default. This one just has these two. Unless that's like an upgrade. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four guys. I'm getting a position. Yeah, I think you have to level up your AI sync shots Ready to fire. as well. It's been so long since I played this game, guys. Don't uh, don't be too rude to me. It's been forever. Like I said, it might take a few episodes, a few. Uh, A few missions for me to get back to uh, the way I used to play. Can't really do much with the four guys like this. Uh, stay there, Roger. How's that guy going? I wonder if I shoot that guy if he's in the uh, range of those two guys. I don't know. I could try it. Don't really want to blow my cover here. That's the thing about stealth, you know, it takes patience. Sometimes you have to sit, watch your uh, watch your enemies for a minute, and uh, wait for the perfect timing to take everybody out. A lot of people just try to take everybody out at once, and it's like, nah, that's, that's not that's not exactly how you do it, my guys. Alright, let me see here. Hard to get. Uh, is he jumping off? I, have, well, I keep wanting to press left on the D-pad. It's not left on the T-pad, man. Damn it, I'm pressing all kinds of wrong buttons, so I wasn't trying to do that. <clears throat> Alright, so that guy right there. I want to take out those two guys, but this guy right here, I don't know. I forgot how all the game mechanics are in this game. I don't know if I take out those two guys. I do know that the AI mechanics also aren't that good in this game. 
You shoot one person, someone sees it, the entire base immediately is alerted. They immediately know where you are. Something else I didn't like about this game. Breakpoint, you at least have like, you have like a very short couple of seconds to eliminate the guy who saw, you know, who got alerted. You have a few seconds to eliminate him before he uh, alerts the entire base. This game, nah, you don't have that. This game, as soon as someone sees someone dead or sees you, the entire base knows. Uh, but yeah, this guy right here, I don't think, I don't think they would see this guy die. I don't think so. There's still that fourth guy. He hasn't came back out yet. Oh, speak of the devil. There he is. Should have said anything. Is there another way down? Yeah, over there. I guess I don't have to kill these guys. I want to, though. I think I'm going to turn on the detection clouds just for now, just so I can kind of um, show high position before marking them. What? Oh, be that's because my mini map's off. Should I turn that on? Nah. Maybe. Nah. Uh, alert markers. Is that what I'm looking for? No. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? No. Well, yeah, because I don't know the button. Uh, is it? Is that what? Is it detection clouds? So I have to. What do I have to turn on the mini map just to have detection clouds? Is that is that right? Alert markers. I think so. What? That kind of sucks. Or is it notifications? No, it's not notifications. I don't know. I I. I crap. I apologize. You know what? I'm just gonna turn. Uh, just gonna turn everything to default for now. Uh, I really don't want to try to play the game extremely, extremely hard like I used to, with uh, very little knowledge of how the game mechanics are. So that dude's walking all the way over there. That dude's walking back in there. No, what he's actually just walking right there. I don't mean for this part to take so long. I'm just thinking, I'm trying to remember how all these uh, game mechanics in this game work compared to. Uh, I'm over Bad to guys are marked. Waiting on you, point. boys. That's all. Good to go. Open fire. Nice one down. Hold up. Tangos are marked. What's the word? I think I have detection clouds on. I forgot about these guys uh, driving around in vehicles. Man, that's the thing, man. I'm telling you, it's been so long since I played this game. I forgot so much. Get so, down before they see you. I think this guy heard the gunshot. Wait. Oh. Hmm, that's weird. Well, that was messy as shit. That was... See, I'm so used to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the HUD default for the time being until I get used to everything. Because I was, I was directly on that guy, and I was rapidly pressing the uh, right anal analog stick down, which is the melee button. It wasn't doing anything. It didn't do anything until, like, he started shooting. That was kind of crappy. Didn't want that to happen. Oh well. Uh, there is something over here. Like I said, I'm not trying to take forever. It's oh god, I don't, I don't want to listen to this. What a wonderful name for it. I remember. <laughs> there's a lot of audio. A lot of those audio tapes I just don't like listening to. I've heard it so many times in the past. But yeah, I apologize. I used to be so good at this game, but. I don't know, man. I just me personally. I think Breakpoint's game mechanics is just better. It has issues, but I think the game's better. Uh, but also before Breakpoint came out, this Moving game back. was this game was Let's great. Go. 
I don't think they have to get in either. Right, I think I can roll. just drive off, right? Yeah. Which I'm not trying to crap on this game or anything like that. Like I said, before Breakpoint came out, I loved this game. But I don't know. There's just something about Breakpoint that I just, I just really like. But I guess that really comes down to like personal preference and personal opinions and what you're looking for in a video game, yada yada yada. I mean, I'm not saying this game is crap. It just, to me, it's not the best like a lot of people think. I mean, I'm probably going to hurt somebody's feelings for saying that, but I don't mean to. <clears throat> But yeah, I think for now, until or at least until I get used to the game mechanics again, I'm just going to leave everything on, default, whatever. It's not a big deal. Like I said, I'm not trying to play super extreme like I used to. I'm just trying to play through the campaign. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like whenever uh, I switch over, like I beat this, and I play Future Soldier. And then I'll play Breakpoint's campaign. I'm probably just going to do the same thing. Even though I am I know almost everything about Breakpoint. I don't know, man. I don't know. Honestly, I think my biggest concern is my voice audio. Shit oh my shit. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. That did not happen. He was driving. Weaver? Weaver was driving. Uh, Eyes up, we got hostiles in the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we got a narco. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. In front of the barn. Yeah, this game, you can't actually be hidden by bushes, or you don't have prone camo or anything like that. So, honestly, going prone, all it does is just allow you to not be spotted as easily. You don't actually second target. And baby go camo or anything. Uh, oh my god, my my drone my drone is so limited. I got another, that's five. I forgot Tango about this. marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Uh So I'm assuming someone's inside here. Yeah. Somewhere. I think he's like right on the front side. Oh man. I drone that. Uh fire. No, 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 no. Roger. <laughs> Don't fire. Guys, it's freaking Yo, cartel uh, gunman. Inside the barn. I was trying to hit hole, not fire. Jesus. Well, let me see here. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. I will admit, I do love it when it freaking rains and storms. And not just this game, I love it when it rains and Breakpoint and Splinter Cell. I just love doing operations in the rain. I don't know why, I just think it's freaking amazing. You can probably see me right here. No, I guess not. I've been able to do this um, before, um, sneak in and only take out the one guy that's normally inside, because you don't have to move bodies and hide them, so take out the one guy that's normally inside at the prison cell, 
and wait for his body to disappear and then sneak in break the cage open get the guy sneak back out sneak all the way around and uh, actually extract with that guy without killing anybody except for that one guy that was when I was really good at the game <laughs> That was a long time ago. That guy right there is probably part of noticed me. Get it smart. Just say the word. Ready to fire. Tangos are marked. What's the word? Dropped him. I think they would be able to see my head right here. Again, this game's like cover system isn't the same as breakpoints. Like your character X one more and get down lower if he needs to. Again, I just want to repeat, I'm not trying to hate on this game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm not saying that. I do really enjoy this game. It just since I've played Breakpoint for so long, for me, personally, Breakpoint just feels better. Now, Breakpoint does have issues where Wildlands shines. And there's things where Wildlands has issues and Breakpoint shines. I think they're both good games. Overall, I think they're both good games. And I, I, enjoy, I, I enjoy playing both of them. Can you roll on this one? No. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Si que escuchen bien. La rebelión no perdona. Night vision is still right on the D-pad, which I don't have NVG, so I'm not going to use night vision unless I actually have it on my character. That's something I do almost any game I play. If my character is not wearing something that can actually use NVGs or thermal, I'm not going to use it. Even if I can right now like this. I mean, I guess I could pretend my sunglasses have NVGs in them, but the uh, the glasses, like the high-tech glasses you can get in this game, that's like part of the Future Soldier outfit, but you can actually have it like use it as like a just a normal cosmetic. Sometimes they actually do use those glasses and pretend, oh, you know, the high-tech they're part of the future soldier you know they have night vision so there are times where instead of using a helmet with night vision I just use those classes which I guess would make sense I don't know. he doesn't see my head see if I didn't have HUD on if I didn't have detection clouds I would honestly be thinking this guy would see me but he doesn't see me I could take him out, but I don't know what direction that guy's facing. I could take him out, but this guy right here was walking out. I think there's a second guy in there. No, wait, that's the... That's the, uh... Uh... Target. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> I was rubbing my eye, and as I was rubbing my eye, I was like, oh man, if my eye was freaking itching right now, I could totally take these two guys down right now and not even be an issue. 
I'm actually still rubbing my eye right now as I'm talking. That's why my camera's not moving. Right. Let's see. They're gonna make you back up. Dude, I don't know what's going on with my eye right now. If I'm mistaken, I think pistols in this game uh, it's more silent than primaries. It's supposed to be like that in Breakpoint. I think it is, but I don't think it's nearly as uh, I don't think it's nearly the same as this game's. Could be wrong though. I think that dude's walking out that way. Yeah. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Sí que escuchen bien. El Dios no perdona. I'm over to Marsh. Just say the word. Good to go. Bad guys are marked. Waiting on you, boss. Yeah. Oh, my freaking this time my nose is itching. What the crap's going on? Hang back, that tango might spot you. Uh I keep wanting to press Y. I think that's Rally all of them. I guess breakpoint. Whenever you try to do your uh, AI teammate thing, you hold or B, then you press Y. I keep wanting to press Y. Does Y actually do anything? No. Agarraron a la persona que no debían. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestias! Man, why you? Why you? Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. All right. There's a weapons case over here. I remember this. This will go nice with my boots. There's a scope. There's, uh, I remember something being over here. I think this uh, tutorial thing won't go away unless I actually look at it. Da da da. Yeah. yeah, there's this thing, but I think there's one of those. Uh, I think it's a skill point. Hola. It's a Santa Blanca commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this. This is a commendation. Yeah, it's skill like point. From a box of cereal with the Air Force or something. Do you have stamina in this game? I think you do have stamina in this game. Uh, I don't need to get ammo, but whatever. Now what I would probably do, or at least this is just what I'm thinking right now, once I do this first playthrough, you know, through the whole campaign, I'll probably most definitely be used to this game's mechanics by the time I get to the end of this uh, campaign. Uh, what I'll probably do is go back through and play this game again. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. But I'll probably play it on ghost mode um, with no HUD. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm probably most definitely be used to the uh, game mechanics by then. <sighs> but for now, I'm just I'm just playing the game, just trying to enjoy the game, just trying to play through the campaign, learn the story, or well, remember the story. I already know the story, but you must refresh my memory of the story. And I hope everyone understands that and just uh, watches and enjoys the content. You know what I'm saying? This is it. it what? Yo, I got a weapons case here. I think this is a uh, nice sniper rifle. Awesome. I can put this to use. Yeah. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. 
But their mythos were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Uh, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Suenyu questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to watch this. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel. Ricky. And the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. My gosh. Yeah, I don't want to watch that again. I don't want to listen to that either. Ew. So this is the map. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I already know. Uh, by the way, I know... I, you know, I've already played this game, and I'm sure there's a lot of people watching that that's already played this game. Uh, you don't actually have to hunt down and eliminate every single body to uh, beat the campaign, to go after, you know, the main boss. But for this uh, playthrough... You know, for the series, I am going to be hunting down every single person that I can, which is, you know, pretty much what I said. I'm hunt I'm going to hunt. I'm going to hunt down everybody and kill everybody. Even though there's some people you don't actually kill, some people you just capture, and you know the CIA handles them. But I'm going to do every single uh, leader before I go after the uh, main bad guy. But for now, I'm going to do this this part here. Uh, this is how I used to do it when I played back in the back in the day. I would always go for the one in the province I was in. I don't know why, you know, maybe it was my OCD. I didn't like starting something over here and then starting something over here. So I I'm going to do all of these first. I might accidentally go into a province where someone else is and it might start it. But I'm not going to actually do their stuff until all of these people uh, over here is dead. <laughs> but um, that is going to like Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. 
Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. If we want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's going to be it for this video, but before I actually end the video, I'm going to just share some information. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... The free roam, since this is a free roam game, um, whenever I'm doing free roam stuff, I probably won't record that, or if I do, it's probably going to be in its separate playlist, a separate, you know, videos. But the uh, the actual main missions, uh, anything that's, you know, to do with the main missions, stuff like that, I'm probably going to try to start those videos at the beginning of those missions, and then that video will probably end at the end of that mission. Unless it's a short mission, because there are a few missions in here that's actually very short. So if that mission is short, I'll probably continue on to the next mission. But, um, there's that. Free roam stuff. If I actually do anything free roam, and if I do record it, that, like I said, that would just be its own video. Uh, stuff like that. Kind of like what I do already with Ghost Recon Breakpoints, my random stealth videos that I just kind of do randomly doing those faction missions. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like uh, he's help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from yeah. Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Yeah. So, stuff like that. Um. I think, yeah, I think these are like main mission stuff, major intel, story mission, yeah. So I think story missions is just going to be in like the campaign playlist and uh, like side missions, side quests, stuff like that. I'll probably just put in like its own playlist. It'll probably be like Wildlands side mission, side quest, whatever. I don't know. Uh, oh, I for some reason forget. <laughs> For some reason, forgot you can fast travel in this game. Man, come on, leave me alone. It's been it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, I forgot a lot of things. Like I said, ever since Breakpoint came out, I haven't I haven't really touched this game. But uh, yeah. Oh, let me see. Um, something else I would probably do is uh every every mission I would probably change my outfit and my uh, teammates' outfits. Uh, and I'll probably do the same thing in Breakpoint whenever I make it to Breakpoint. Uh, every mi every mission, uh, you know, every video will probably be wearing a different outfit. Or, you know, something that's a little bit similar to the last one. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I know this took a lot longer than it should have. I used to... Man, I wasn't even thinking that when I was doing that very first mission. I was like, man, what the... In my head, I was like, man, I, I've i been able to do this mission so fast. Why am I taking so long to do it? And it's because the game mechanics in this game is different than Breakpoints. And if you play this game and then play Breakpoint, or play Breakpoint and then go back to this game, you you will, you, you can't say that the game mechanics are the same because they're not. The game mechanics are different. There are some similarities, but it's still almost a big big difference so I'm just trying to kinda take it slow so I can see the game mechanics relearn the game mechanics because I really don't wanna screw myself up like when I was trying to melee that one guy I was I was rapidly pressing the, the melee button and in breakpoint as soon as I pressed it it would have melee that guy but I was pressing in it and it wasn't doing it so that's something that's not exactly the same as breakpoint uh, so, anyways, I hope you enjoy. More videos coming out soon. I'm doing Ghost Recon campaigns Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, Splinter Cell, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. So, yeah.